Howdy. Today we're going to customize this screen to look like this screen or to whatever you would like your login and registration pages to look like. You won't believe how easy and fast this is, so let's jump in. Your website is your cyberspace for your customers or members, and when it comes to online stores, blogs, and other membership websites, customers may require to log into or register so that they can become users on your website. Along with logging in, important call to actions like newsletter signups, new or recommended product notifications or reminders can really help you gain repeat visitors or customers. Remember that your website is your virtual door to your company and having a WordPress branded login page doesn't do much for credibility. So it's natural that you would want to brand your login and registration screens to suit your own brand or business. What it comes down to is simple. You want your customers, employees, subscribers and members all to have a door to walk through with your name on it. This is an example of the website we'll be using today. The theme that I'm using is the WP Astra theme and I'm using demo content which I've imported as a bit of a template for our website. It's an amazing theme and of course completely free with a massive amount of different demo content options just like this. I'm leaving a link in the description so go check them out. Let's head to our dashboard. I'm going to install a plugin that will change how this will work. If you had Elementor Pro, you'd have this feature already, but let me show you how we can do this completely free using a plugin called Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Let's go to Plugins and select Add New. In our search box, we'll type Essential Add-ons for Elementor. And we'll select the one by WP Developer and activate. This process involves us creating a login page and a register page. Then we will be using Elementor Page Builder with these pages. Along with this, we will be using our essential add-ons for Elementor plugin and use a login registration widget that adds the login and registration functionality. Let's go to these pages. Then we'll add a new page. As our login page, we'll simply name it login. Then check and make sure that the permalink is login. Click publish and then edit with Elementor. There's a few ways how we can customize what our login page will look like. I'm a huge fan of simplicity and I like to remove the header and footer sections when visitors arrive at the login or registration screen. For this tutorial, we'll be keeping things basic but I'm showcasing some clean and simple methods that does work and looks and feels seamless. Of course, Elementor is really powerful so if you felt like experimenting a bit, feel free to do so. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just go to our settings. It's this little gear icon at the left bottom of your Elementor page. And then we'll select page layout. And we'll select Elementor canvas. I'm going to select update. Um, what we'll do is once, once we've updated it, we'll just refresh the page. And now we have a blank page to work with. I'm just going to jump straight to a widget that the Essential Add-ons for Elementor has uh, installed for us, which is Login. And we'll just drag the Login Registration Form. So our Login Form type will be Login. Then click on Form Header Content. And we'll go to our Form Header Logo. Then select our Website's Logo. You'll see our logo here, but we'll adjust the size a little bit later. Now let's go to Login Form Options and then click on Redirect After Login. And we'll insert our URL here, which is the destination that we want our visitors to land on after they've logged in. In this case, I'd like to make it the account page. Next, we'll go to Style. And I'm going to be editing the login form header 
in order to change that logo size. And we'll go to the form logo. I'm going to make it a percentage width of 100%. Next, let's go to Login button, and for the width, we'll do the same, and click Percent, and make it 100. So next, I'd like to change the button's color. I'm using one of the greens in the logo, and what I've done there is I've used the Color Picker tool in my Graphics Editor and placed it on one of the greens to get the hex color, which I'll paste in here. Let's go back to content and select login form fields. Then let's change the button's text that says login to sign in. So let's select the container and now finally we'd like to put the form in the middle of the page. So we'll go to advanced and adjust the margins. I'm going to select percentage and then just tick the unlink box and I'm going to go with 10%. Then click update and then we're done with the login page. With the registration page, it's generally the same procedure. However, this time around we would need to check a setting which allows users to be able to register on our WordPress website. I'm going to skip this section until we receive the error and then we will activate that setting. So let's go to pages then select add new the page name will be register then double check your permalink and click publish and then edit with Elementor as before we'll select the little gear icon at the bottom left of the screen and for template we'll choose Elementor canvas then click update and refresh your screen. Before we customize the register functions, let's sort out that error first. You will see that as soon as we change login widget to the register widget, an error appears, prompting us to activate registrations to our website. So let's go and do that now. When in our dashboard, we can go to settings, click on general, and find the anyone can register option, tick it, and then save the settings. Now let's go back to our page and then refresh the tab. Now as with the login page, we'll go to the widgets and search login. It's the same widget but we'll use this one too, so I'll just drag it over. Then take a look at default form type. Currently it says login. We'll select that drop down and click on register. Quite importantly, between the login and the registration screen, they share the same widget. So take note before you edit anything that you don't edit the login portion of the widget when you're trying to edit the register portion of the widget. I've ran into this before and it can be a bit confusing. As with the login form, we're going to add the site logo again. For the registration page, let's get users to agree to our terms and conditions. You can add any text you want here, and you can also assign the terms and conditions page. So again, just to note, Previously we went into the login form header, this time we'll go into register form header. Then select form logo and again we'll resize it with a percentage width of 100%. Then under form register options, 
You can set what the default user role is. As this is an e-commerce store, I'm going to set it to customer. Then for the width of the register button, I think it looks fine, but let me show you how you can change the width of it if you wanted to do that. So let's go to styles, then click register button and scroll down to button width. And again, we'll select the percentage width. And this time we'll make it 60%. So it will be 60% of the column width. And then by register form fields, you can either add more fields if you like, or you can leave it on default as it is. What I would like to do here, however, is simplify the register form and take out the labels and only leave the placeholder info. So I'll just take out the labels in each of these forms. And then lastly, we'd like to place the form in the middle of the page. So we'll head to the advanced tab and adjust some margins. Again, in this case, I'm selecting percentage and we'll just set it to 10. Then click update. Okay, so now that both our forms are set up, we'd like to add them to our menu. So let's go back to our dashboard, then select appearance and menus. Select your custom links tab. First we'll add our login link. The URL will be your website slash login and the menu item name will be login. Click add new menu item. And then for the register link will be your website URL slash register. Then after adding your link text, you can add to menu. So next I'm moving the login and the register links and then just drag them in place to wherever you would like them to be displayed on your website. I'm going to keep mine under the account menu item. Now currently everyone can see these menu items even if you're logged in or if you're logged out. We obviously would like logged in users to see details appropriate to them and show new visitors or logged out users a different set of menu options. Again, I'm keeping things basic but I will show you how you can easily assign these menu items based on user roles for example administrators, customers or logged out users. So let's save this menu and then let's go to plugins and click on add new plugins. Now let's search for user menus. And then you'll see user menus there and we'll install this plugin. And click activate. Now let's go back to appearance and menus. Now when you expand a menu item, you will see that the plugin has added an extra feature that gives us the option to decide who can see this link. We'll click on the drop down and select logged out users. Then we'll do the same for our register menu item. Now for the my account menu item. I would like only for logged in users to see this option so we'll expand the menu item and click on the drop down and select logged in users. Now we can select who can see this link. I will select administrators, contributors, shop managers and customers. If you had a blogging website you would for example select editors for a similar menu item. Now for the cart. Assigning a user menu role isn't necessary as our customers can buy without creating an account. However, I'm going to do the same here. When we are done, we can select save menu. Then lastly, I recommend you head to WooCommerce endpoints and add the logout endpoint and reset password endpoint to your menu. You don't need to assign menu roles here as logged out users will automatically not see the logged out button and the reset password button is relevant to logged out and logged in users. So let's add these to the menu, drag them where you would like them to be and click save menu. So now to test, we can log out of our website and go to the menu items and log out, log back in, register and so on. 
So to close off, you can see this was a really easy, simple and basic setup, but you are free to play around a bit more, add functions and styles or remove if you are comfortable doing so. There are different ways and methods, but this is by far the easiest method whilst avoiding coding. Even using some plugins will require you to be able to write some CSS or HTML to reach the desired effect, but with essential add-ons for Elementor, this was really a breeze. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.